Hello dear students, welcome to ECE Academy Benefactor. In this class we will be seeing a problem under solution from the topic hazard. This topic is from combinational logic circuit, the subject name is digital electronics. So, let us start the problem. For a given Boolean function, obtain the hazard free circuit. The Boolean function given is f a b c d is equal to summation 1 3 6 7 13 15. So, in our previous class we have seen what is hazard and what are the different types of hazards and how to make a circuit hazard free. That is enclosing the, the nearby ones, we can make the circuit hazard free. What is a hazard? Hazard is unwanted switching transient which appears at the output of a combinational circuit and it is occurring due to the different propagation delays at different paths. What it will do this hazard? It will give, it will do the malfunctioning of the circuit. So, it is necessary to avoid hazard. Okay. So, it is uh, nanoseconds, but uh, still it is to be avoided when high efficiency or is required. Okay. So, when we need to make a circuit hazard free. So, let us start the solution f a b c d is equal to summation 1 3 6 7 13 15. For this boolean function, it is very clear that we need a 4 variable k map. So, we have drawn a 4 variable k map, the variables we have to follow the same pattern a b c d. Here 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1. So, you know the cell numbering also this is cell number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, if you know the cell numbering, you can simply fill this min terms directly here. So, 1, 3, 6, 7, 13, 15. So, these min terms are occupied in this k map by 1. So, we have filled the 1s and then done the grouping. So, we are having 3 terms here. So, grouping of min terms is done. To make this circuit hazard free, what we have to do? We have to do this enclosing of 1s, one enclosing here, another enclosing here. So, which is done here. So, by this k map uh, solution, we are giving, getting 3 terms only. After enclosing, we will be getting 5 terms 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, what are the terms we got it here? Enclosing the terms, it will be a bar b bar d plus a bar b c plus a b d plus a, a bar c d plus b c d. I hope now you can easily write after grouping of ones, how to write this term. Okay. So, let us see uh, B C D, how did you get B C D? So, this is the term, this one, here one is common in these two rows, one is common, what is one here? B, the column here is 1 1 that is C D. So, here for this term we are getting as B C D. So, likewise after grouping you can write each term and write the final expression and based on this you need to draw the logic diagram. Okay. So, here we require a bar b bar c and d. Okay. So, he, this is the logic diagram. So, we need the input lines a, we need a bar. So, we have connected this input to an OR gate to get a bar b input, b bar, c and d. What is the first term? We need a bar, b bar, d, a bar, we are connecting it to a bar, b bar and d. And the next term is a bar, b, c, a bar, b and c. 
the next term is a b d a b and d next term is a bar c d a bar c and d next term is b c d b c and d so all this and gates are the now odd so you are giving all the and gates output to an or gate to get the output y so in this way we can make the circuit hazard free so how do it we make the circuit hazard free so after filling the ones we are having three terms and again and closing the ones of nearby we are getting five terms and we are implementing the logic diagram i hope you have understood the class if you have any queries you can post in the comment section thank you good luck students